Sagittarius, how you doing? We're going to get into your read here. Just going to see what the energy is looking like. And uh, let's just get into it. These are general readings, so just take what resonates. Hope you guys are doing well here. And uh, just finish Taurus's reading. You know, it's just, um, you know, again, just throwing some, some cards out and seeing what the energy is and what you might need to know here. So let's see what's going on here for Sagittarius. What messages do we have here for Sagittarius? We start off the reading here with the Knight of Coins. It is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. Let's see what's crossing you here. It could be new opportunities. Maybe you're looking for new opportunities here. The Ace of Coins, all right? So definitely regarding, um, could be, you know, focused on finances right now or focused towards your career at the moment here. Let's get all the cards out and see what's going on. Could be a new opportunity coming towards you. I feel like the energy or your last reading um, was, because I don't remember most of my reading, I just say in the video and it locks in there. Um, but it was new opportunities. We were talking about new opportunities and it was like either, you know, you're going to get them or, you know, there is something new coming in for you. Um, so we'll see what's going on here. Recent past, we have the Knight of Cups. Let's see the focus here. Knight of Cups here is the recent past. What is the focus here? The King of Coins, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Let's take a look at the possibilities and then the near future. We have the Sun, near future here. The Ace of Cups. So there is an opportunity. I feel like the energy here, you know, starting off, it just feels like the Sagittarius is I'm connecting with here. There's a sense of you focusing on just, you know, whatever success is in your, you know, in your life right now. This could just be getting things done at work to creating a new business. It's going to go different for everyone here. There is a grounded energy, though. There's a sense of you having a realization of what you want, or at least you're moving or your energy is kind of looking in, in, in a certain direction. Um, maybe you're, you know, in your mind, you're really trying to put things together to see how you can accomplish something or at least move towards so you can attain some sort of goal here for you. Again, it's going to be different for everyone. But um, I am picking up, uh, you know, you seeing um, a clear picture here of how to get what you want. That's really what's coming down to this. But, you know, I'm also picking up, um, I feel like with the sun and the ace of cups here. Now, the sun card, we always, you know, that is one of the you know, happiest card in the deck, right? Um, and there is an energy here of being, I feel like, optimistic about it. There's an energy here of just feeling good about whatever this opportunity is or whatever you're trying to vision here and whatever you're trying to bring in for you. The Ace of Cups here, near future energy. Of course, I feel like a lot of you guys are working on yourself and, and, and just doing what you want here, but I do feel like there's an opportunity here for a new connection. Um, and I also feel like I picked up a new energy here on your last reading. So we're going to see what this is all about as well. Everything, everything I say in the reading stays. So, I mean, I'm not going to go back and repeat stuff. So, but like I said, take what resonates here and, um, let's see in your power, we have the devil that, that came out the same area for Taurus. So I don't know if you're dealing with an earth sign here. Um, we're going to see what this means for you. And, you know, the devil can be that, you know, a, a little bit of a negative trait, something here that you could be overdoing in some way. Or maybe there's something here that you need to let go to get these new opportunities, all right? So sometimes that um, it can go many different ways here, but it could be that you have to release or let go of something here that's been holding you back so you can focus on creating more time and energy into something else. You know, that it can go a lot of different ways, like I said. But there is that energy I'm picking up here, all right? So let's see. Let's see the environment here for Sagittarius. We have the Seven of Pentacles. So your energy is still staying in regards to wanting to build something, wanting to still work hard at something here. But this one's kind of pulling me out here with that devil energy. Let me see this hopes and fears here for Sagittarius. And, you know, this is tarot. A lot of you guys, you know, maybe let go of some stuff already and understand this is, you know, you have to put more time into something. Others of you maybe, you know, you're probably looking for an opportunity here and you're kind of wondering what's stuck. Maybe there's a sense of you, um, you know, wanting to build something, but it's like, did you really put enough effort into it? You know, there is that type of energy I'm picking up. Hopes and fears here, we do have the Eight of Swords, all right? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And you can see she's kind of tied up here. She's, she's uh, you know, wanting to move forward, wanting to break free here. And it is your hopes and fears. So there is a sense that, uh, you know, maybe there is a direction you want to go towards, but you know, maybe you, you don't feel 
And with that devil energy, sometimes it does bring us back to overthinking situations, right? So maybe there's a thought of you feeling not good enough for a certain position or good enough to start something new. It's not going to be for everyone, but I do feel like that's coming up in the reading. Let me see the potential outcome here for Sagittarius. We have the Four of Cups coming out here. So it is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Um, the Four of Cups being the, the outcome you can see, and it's kind of Taurus reading kind of got similar, where someone is offering something towards you. So I feel like there's an opportunity. Um, it could be a creative idea. It doesn't have to be love here with the Ace of Cups because Ace of Cups is you know, using your intuition, some sort of creative idea that comes towards you here. I feel like you're going to be gifted with something or maybe uh, you're having a dream and you get this idea. There's that type of energy that's coming out for you. Um, like I said, for others of you, I do feel like a connection here or pentacles underneath. Let's take a look at this. Actually, let's take a look at this um, Ace of Cups real quick here. Why is this Ace of Cups? See, there's new opportunities still in your energy. I'm using a different deck too. So it's kind of nice to just see how the energies are playing out here. Ace of Cups, we have the world, okay? So there is there is something here that is that is starting new for you. I kind of feel like a lot of you guys are already in this, like you already started something new, but there is love coming towards you or at least something here that is going to be very unexpected is what I get here. I feel like the universe, your spirit guides, there's, there's someone here helping you, all right? I do pick that up. Let me see this double energy. We have the moon, all right? So with the moon card coming out with the devil hmm, and a tower, there is a realization. Like I said, some of you guys are probably past this, but for those of you, you can see, you know, the moon card, we know it is Pisces, Cancer energy here. There is a sense that um, yeah, it's about your subconscious. This is about secrets. This is about things you don't see. Um, this could just be illusions as well. Um, also, just the knowing that there's maybe something that needs to end, you know, whatever it is for you, um, for you to focus more into a new opportunity here. There could be something restricting you as well. It could be um, uh, environment, situation, another work situation that you're dealing with, coworkers, friends. There's something here you need to look at, okay? There's something here you need to look at. So with that tower being over here, there is something here that you're starting to see or you will see that um, either you've been held back in some way. This could be you holding back yourself or it could be you with other people holding you back, okay? Because you can see he's kind of tied down the two people down there. You have the moon card up here. It's like there is something here that you feel intuitively that you need to stop. And it's like, I feel like if you, you know, whatever choice you make, again, these are just me talking here. You, you make whatever choice you want to make here, but um, there is something here that is blocking you from a new opportunity uh, or at least increase in finances. So, or at least eliminating you from, I shouldn't say eliminating, but it is delaying you from this new idea or this new creative thing, a path that you want to move towards. And maybe your hopes and fears here with the Eight of Swords, you have the Devil, the Moon, and the Eight of Swords. It's like, you have everything you need to get something going, but it's like you have this sense of, oh, I don't know if I'm going to do it, or I don't, there's a sense of fear, I guess, is in here for some of you guys, okay? Heck, maybe just one person, but there's a sense of fear that um, is holding someone back from being very creative or putting a lot of energy into something. And I feel like you're going to start realizing a, a situation in your life that, um, that you move away from finally. And this could just be a past person, right? So it could be a past situation holding you back, or maybe you had a bad experience in a work environment previously that was like very toxic. I mean, there could be a lot of different ways here, but I do feel like that you're you're going to see, you know, it wasn't you. You know, there's a sense of like uh, maybe someone you were working with in the past or someone you were with in the past, they really uh, hurt your ego. And it's, we all have egos, right? But they kind of hurt you in a way to you felt like you weren't um, good enough in a way. And I feel like you're breaking away from that energy, okay? So I kind of see in the future here, or, you know, you, you guys are just, it's kind of more in the reverse. Like the devil energy is releasing, you have the eight of swords releasing. It's like you're walking away from something because... The Four of Cups being your outcome, it's like you're starting to see this opportunity that is that is being handed to you here, okay? So that's how I'm looking at this. Um, let's take a look at, you have the world here with the Ace of Cups. Let's see this Ace of Coins here, because I feel like that's why it was, you know, I think I've already clarified the Ace of Coins. But let's just get a card on that. The Five of Cups, see, so there, that is looking back at the past and not seeing the two cups. So you guys are seeing that now, all right? And apologies if there's a, gl a glare up here. I'm just going to put them over here. Um, let me take a look at this camera. Okay, so make sure you guys are not seeing 
seeing everything there. Um, and we also have strength underneath here as well. So it kind of confirmed what I was talking about here. You guys are moving away from an energy here that's been holding you back for quite some time. So it's really nice. Um, it is opening you up to new opportunities. Like I said, this can be love as well. I, I just don't feel like it's coming so strong into the reading. It's like, um, you know, how do I want to say this? It's like you are, I feel like you're open to something here, but there's a sense of you, your mind is definitely focused on something else. You're definitely open to new things. Let me see. Or a new new connection. Um, let me take a look at one more card on this Ace of Cups and the World card here. We have the Page of Wands, Aries Leo Sag energy. And let me take a look at this Knight of Cups here. Why is this Knight of Cups here for Sagittarius? It's past energy there too. We have the Hermit. All right, so you, some of you guys have just really went within on what you want in the connection. Um, you know... Oh, you know what? I saw the Ten of Swords here. So this past energy. So you did, you're healing from a past situation, which is finally releasing you into something new. So that's, okay, so that makes sense here. So that kind of, a lot of you guys might have been going through this or have went through this already. Um, so let's take a look at the future here. Let me see the Seven of Pentacles. We do have the Ten of Swords coming out again. Let's see. With the Page of Cups and the Lover's card. Oh, man. Some of you guys, if you're dealing with a past connection, maybe uh, it could be earth, air, water. One more card here. The Three of Cups. See, you have somebody here that may have betrayed you in the past. So Seven of Pentacles here, there's a sense of you really focused hard at something else. Um, there's somebody here with the Ten of uh, Ten of Swords and then the Page of Cups and the Three of Cups here. You know, this could be a friend. It doesn't have to be love all the time, but I did see the Lover's card, so this could be someone from the past that wants to return to you because they see you investing in different things here. I do see the Fool underneath here. So there is a past energy wanting to come back for some of you guys as well. Um, I get three cards overall here and see what is going on. We have the Four of Pentacles. Any more advice here for Sag? I mean, that's really what I'm picking up. I don't feel like some of you guys have a new opportunity in love. Some of you guys have a return of someone from the past. But I feel like you're really focused on, you know, you right now, you know, getting away from, you know, stuff here that uh, has been holding you back. All right. Um, and we have the hangman. I mean, if somebody is coming back from the past with the seven of swords energy sitting over here, the three of pentacles, I don't know if this is a friend or uh, ex person here, but just kind of be cautious with that. I feel like I feel like someone wants to come back because they kind of see you successful. I'm gonna see who this knight of our king of coins is then. The three of swords, yeah. So somebody's in this. Um, you know, I feel like you're this king of coins that is the three of swords more into the reverse, more like healing yourself here because we have the nine of wands here, Sagittarius energy. So. You've healed. You move forward. You're you're going to, uh, like towards new opportunities, creative ideas. You're you're doing totally different things here. Eight of Swords. I feel like you're finally breaking free. For some of you guys who are listening to this right now and going, ah, you know, I left that months ago. I feel like really deep down inside, you guys are feeling a different type of energy. There's something else changing where you're just kind of going, oh, you know what? I, I, I can finally really not look back at something. And I feel like that energy shifts is bringing people. It could be people coming back. It doesn't mean just one person. I feel like you could have an opportunity or people from the past texting you, messaging you, um, you know, just all of a sudden you, you'll be contacted with people here that you let go. Maybe you closed out towards the end of the last year, and then now all of a sudden they want to be in contact with you. But you're focused on something totally new here. But with the Seven of Swords, it tells me, like, don't go back to that stuff. It's kind of like saying a warning in a way. It's like you've released, you know, again, with the, when I saw the Tower, the Devil, and the Moon card, it's like you released from all this stuff. So it's like universe is saying, hey, you want to go back to this stuff? But I kind of feel like with, with the outcome being the four, uh, four of Cups and you seeing that Ace of Cups, I feel like you're finally going to uh, not turn around on this. You, you've already had that energy here of wasting so much time and, and, uh, and energy on something else. So I don't know. I mean, if this, this reading helps you in any way here, I just feel like maybe the biggest part is just like the past energies don't look so great in a way because you have the Ten of Swords too. I mean, it's like they could be coming back because there's a sense of jealousy as well. Okay. 
And that happens. I mean, some people see you start becoming successful and they go, let me go contact Sagittarius and see what they're up to, how they, how they do it. Um, you know, wanting to come back, trying to act like the Three of Cups energy, trying to act like the Page of Cups here. And then you have the Seven of Swords. It's like getting your attention, leaving, and then leaving you out in the cold type of energy here, right? You've already been through something here. And again, I'm, I know you're a fire sign, king of coins here, but, um, you know, it is earth energy. But I feel like this is more you. It's more focused on being successful, or at least your foundation, more grounded energy. And that Three of Swords is like, you know, you've healed from a heartbreak now, you know? And you're standing in this Nine of Wands energy, a little bit of a, of a warrior here, because there's also that energy of like, now that uh, things have, you're releasing things and moving forward in a different direction, there's also a sense of you taking that initiative, taking the charge here with your life and, and making the change. You're not waiting for things anymore to come towards you. You're, you're going to get it now. So that's the, that's what I'm seeing here, Sag. So hopefully that, um, that helps you guys. Let me pull a Oracle card here for you. And um, if it does help, please do hit that like button. Trying to see if there's anything else. Like I said, past energy, definitely Seven of Swords, though. Just kind of be cautious with that one, whoever that resonates with, because that's just somebody's focused a little bit on your money, too. You can see in the Four of Pentacles here, she's kind of just really looking a little bit different. You know what I mean? Could be, I don't know. I feel a very weird energy with that one. That's just not, doesn't sit right with me. It's like right when you become successful, or right when you come, um, to the point of being like just finally your own self again is like right that's when people want to come in you know what i mean um we have the fruit bat which is the flying fox here number 12 uh where's my book here number 12 so this one here is means kindness it says choose choose kindness which is isn't always the easy way kindness will always be repaid consider others in your decisions especially those with less power than you Repay your debts, spread the seeds of goodwill, and your fortune will grow. All right, so let me pull one more oracle card here. It could be just about helping other people as well. We do have the goddess of sea coming out here for you, which is storm. It says, through the storm, my inner sea is calm. All right, so if somebody does come back, man, like, you know, if somebody's trying to piss you off in some way, you know, understand, you know, what you've been through, you let it go, keep that sense of um, that energy to, you know, um, try not to give this person what they want in terms of uh, bringing you down or bringing you down that vibration in some way. I do feel like um, that is a message here for, for some of you guys. All right. So Sagittarius, that is your reading. And uh, until next time, we'll see you guys have a good one.